Hello everyone, welcome to the Genie channel. Today I want to tell you about a new way of wearing glasses. We're going to look at a new device that answers the question of how to stop glasses from slipping down your nose. I've started wearing the new device myself and I'm very pleased with it. We'll get to that later. Almost everyone who wears glasses, including me, will have to deal with the irritating habit of glasses slipping down the nose at some point during the day. One of the reasons for this could be that the initial glasses fitting may not have been overseen by an optician. These days you can send your eye test prescription to an online supplier of glasses and when your new glasses arrive in the post, it's left to you to do the fitting and make whatever adjustments that need to be made. Whether this works for you or not will depend on how good you are at making any required adjustments. But there are some interesting ideas going around that people are using to stop glasses from slipping down the nose. One suggestion is to wrap a hairband or any thick rubber band around the glasses arms to provide an anchor that uses your ears to hold your glasses in place. You can also buy fixtures known as ear hooks or wedges that can be fitted to the arms of your glasses that will do the same as a rubber band but it will look a bit more presentable. Then there is a glue that will semi-stick your glasses to your nose. This approach seems to work well by all accounts and it appears to do enough to hold your glasses in place and stop them from slipping down your nose. If you're interested, look for Nerd Wax. You have to use it rather like a glue stick. You need to apply a generous amount to the nose bridge or nose pads of your glasses for this to work. Another thing that people do to stop glasses from slipping down the nose is to fit short pieces of plastic tube over the temple ends of the glasses arms. For this, you can find suitable plastic tubing in places like auto stores. Look for some tubing that makes a snug fit. Cut off pieces that are long enough to go from the tip of the arms of your glasses to the curve. To secure them in place, use a blow dryer to heat shrink to a tight fit. This attachment will remain largely out of sight and some people have success with it. But if you really want a solution that will stop glasses from slipping down your nose, take a look at the Specs Delight. This tackles the problem from a completely different perspective. The concept of the Specs Delight focuses on lifting and supporting your glasses so that they don't touch your nose or ears at all. When you achieve this, you not only end the problem of glasses slipping down your nose, you lift them off your ears as well. The Specs Delight offers a completely new way of wearing glasses. To get the best out of the Specs Delight, you need to know how to fit it. It needs to grip enough to support your glasses, but you mustn't allow it to be too tight around your head. Start by attaching it high up on the back of your head. If it feels tight, slacken it off by opening out the spring steel band. You may need to spend some time adjusting it to achieve the best tension for you. Then, attach your glasses to the Specs Delight and lower them down to be able to see through the lenses as shown here. The Specs Delight tends to be more comfortable when it's higher on the back of your head and angled down to the front. The purpose of the Specs Delight is to give your nose and ears a rest from the constant load of bearing the weight of glasses. You may not want to wear the Specs Delight all the time, but they are ideal when spending long periods looking at a computer screen or performing tasks that need your full attention. Having your glasses off your nose and ears will relieve you of that background pressure that we glasses wearers have to tolerate. So that's how to stop glasses from slipping down your nose. Give your nose and ears a rest. Try the Specs Delight. To find out how to make adjustments to your new Specs Delight to get the best fit for you, see this accompanying video that goes into more detail. For more information about the Specs Delight, click on the link in the description. This will take you to the Specs Delight website. I hope you found this useful. Please like and share if you think it may be of interest to others. That's all I've got for now. Until next time, thanks for watching.